In a previous video, we designed a workflow using Visio. Now, let's look how to leverage this workflow in SharePoint. First, you'll need to import that workflow diagram into SharePoint Designer. This sets us up for deploying our workflow to SharePoint. We'll pull the data we need from SharePoint by associating our workflow with an existing SharePoint list, Maintenance Requests. Great, here's our workflow diagram. There is a condition in our stage outline that needs to be defined. A condition allows you to branch your workflow into different directions based on criteria defined by that condition. This criteria can be based on data from an external source. We'll pull the data for our condition from the maintenance request list, which is our data source for this workflow diagram. Now we'll specify which field from our list we want to pull data from. Then we'll use the value we get from that field to trigger the condition in our workflow. Now let's drill down into each of the stages of the workflow process by generating a workflow outline. The Shapes pane over here provides you with a set of commonly used actions that you can add to your workflow. You can drag an action directly over to your workflow. Let's drag the Send an Email action into the first stage and then modify its properties. Let's choose who we want our email to go out to at this stage of the workflow. We could have just as easily searched for our email recipient. You can search for a subject line as well. Here, we'll just type new maintenance request. Now, in a message box, we will combine hard-coded text with a lookup. A lookup lets you pull a value from your data source. First, let's provide some lead-in text indicating that a maintenance request has been received from a user. Now let's use a lookup to find a string value from our list, in this case, the display name. Then let's make sure our string shows up as a user-friendly display name instead of an email address. Finally, let's wrap up the message with some additional instructions for the user. Drag the Assign a Task action into the first stage. This lets you assign a user to a specific task. Let's pick our user. Then we'll give the task a title. Optionally, you can add a description and a due date for the task. Once you are done adding all the actions to the workflow, click Publish to deploy it. Before testing on our workflow, let's make a quick modification in the browser. We'll take a look at our workflow settings and make sure that our workflow starts automatically when a new item is created. This way, users don't have to manually start the workflow from the ribbon or an item's context menu. Now let's go back to our list and create a new maintenance request, which is based on the workflow we just created. We can give our request a title and ID, set who it's assigned to and from, give it a date, and even specify whether it's an emergency or not. Clicking Save creates a new item in the list, automatically triggering our deployed workflow. We can see that our workflow has been triggered in the Maintenance Request Workflow column, which displays its current stage. Click the link to see details about the workflow. SharePoint Designer can help you refine your workflow and publish it so that your team, department, or organization can use it to boost their productivity.